Thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I just want to show you a flip through of my art journal that I finally completed. It's taken me over a year and it is inspired by Tamara Lepore. I've uh, watched a lot of her classes and uh, learned a lot of techniques from her and then applied it to my own art journal and it is a Strathmore 400 series. It's usually um, this direction uh, which is landscape I believe. I think that's the way you call it that way. Anyway but most of the book I've done it long ways. Um, I did put a uh, sketch in the front that I did in pencil. I just didn't have any other place to put it so I put that in the front. And I usually date my artwork. Um, so I started this in April of 2018. So here is the first one. I call this one Wishing, Never Stop Wishing. And she's um, making a wish. And she's got a dragonfly on her shoulder. I love that. And most of it, if you've watched Tamara Lepore's videos, are done with Tombow dual brush pens, uh, my favorite art supply, which is Karen Dosh Neocolor 2, um, Posca pens, watercolor paints, things like that, water, um, uh, colored pencils. So then there's this one, and most of them are lengthwise. So here's my mermaid with her seahorse. And it's hard to get the whole thing in the shot all at one time, so I'm going to have to move it back and forth. So that's my my mermaid. And this is my Zen girl. So it's finding my Zen, and it's got meditate, let go of what no longer serves you, pray, be at peace, be present. Finding my Zen. So here's my Zen girl doing a yoga pose. Dragonflies in the background. And some Zen Tangle mandala doodles on her yoga outfit. And then my Snow White from her fairy tale series. And Sleeping Beauty, Don't Be Tempted. She bit into the poison apple and I did some doodling in her hair and on her dress. And I art journal for um, pain management and um, I started doing that probably about four or five years ago and then I discovered Tamara Lepore and it really opened up even another another world. This one's Let Your Hair Down, obviously. It's Rapunzel, my take on Rapunzel. And I do it just to disconnect from things that are going on physically and it just gives me time to center and focus on something else, something positive, which is making art. So this is when angels walk among us, miracles happen. So this is an angel. And then take care of yourself. This is a girl who is watering the flowers on her head. And it's just a reminder to... Put yourself first and take care of yourself. I've got believe, dream, inspire, hope, create, imagine, and wonder. And the watering can is watering down on her. And there's a bee necklace. I love that. I love bees, dragonflies. And this one is my dare to dream. Um, the sparkles in the star and the moon are um, metallic, iridescent, uh, fine tech watercolors. And she's got an owl sitting on her head. 
and some little wings. So that's my dare to dream. And then uh, Tamara Lepore did uh, Swing Girl, and so this is my version of her Swing Girl. My tree branch with the swing on it. And then my girl. Hard to show them up close because the book is so long. And this is one of my favorites in the book. It's um, from one of the one of her older classes she shows using scrapbook paper and uh, cutting pieces of it and putting it in the background and I uh, came up with making a sun behind. So there are little bits and pieces of um, book text and scrapbook papers all in the background that have words and sayings. I really love that. And I think she turned out cute. I like her style of face. Doodled flowers, iridescent wings on her shoulders. And then this one is May Your Angel Watch Over You. And it's a girl whose angel is looking down upon her. And her hair is braided and woven into flowers. It's kind of fun and different. And this is Tamara Lepore's uh, Bookworm Girl class. I love that. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. That's the Bookworm Girl. And then she did this, offered this one as a freebie, and um, hers was just very colorful hair and bright and colorful, and I decided to add a peacock to it. So there is a cute, whimsical peacock in her hair. And then I put the words, be colorful. I love that. I think that turned out really fun. It was fun to do something different and bright with the pink hair. I hadn't really stepped outside the box to use bright colors, so that was really fun. And this, Lift Your Face Towards the Sun. I did this one, and the faces are just based on the techniques from Tamara Lepore, but the putting the faces inside of the flowers was my idea, so I just did one of sunflowers, each with different expressions, and then the words, lift your face towards the sun. Happy and cheery, I like it. And then there's this one with the dark hair. I hadn't worked a lot with doing darker hair with my Tombow markers, so that was kind of stepping outside the box for me. And then I did a bird. And the background was with um, watercolor, they're watercolor powders. Let me go get them and tell you what they are. They're the Ken Oliver Color Burst Powders. So you get your page wet and then you sprinkle all the powder on and it blends out and it makes this really fun background. I really like that. And then I added some sparkle to it with a um, sparkle pen of some sort. I don't remember which one I used. Anyway, I just like how that flower girl came out and I put a bird uh, bird nest on her shoulder and the bird on her head. And then this one, sometimes you ju it just feels good to dangle and it's an upside down girl hanging upside down on the monkey bars. She has a peace sign and she's upside down. It's kind of fun something different and then this one is my birdhouse girl she has a birdhouse on her head and I put a heart with love on her shoulder and the words a passion for compassion and she's holding a bird's nest with a bird watching over her eggs that day I was needing some compassion from 
people around me and really wasn't receiving it, so decided to art journal about it instead. And this is my Zen girl. She's got some dreadlocks and the sun moon pattern is untangled in the background. She's got a peace sign necklace and then this colorful lotus flower at the bottom. And then this one, this is kind of wild and fun. It's got impart art at the bottom. And she's got her paintbrush and her her fountain pen and her stabilo and some watercolor paints and a dragonfly on her shoulder and words in her hair, a uh, French word for hope, and then words that I wrote to myself um, that were just journaling all in her hair. So that was another one that was really really good a good message for me that day that I was feeling and Tamara always uh, talks about putting words in the background or even behind and then painting over it just to journal art journal and you know get your emotions out onto paper and then there's this one this is Pax the goddess the Greek goddess of peace She's got mandala in the back, a lot of zen tangle doodling and stenciling. She's got a lotus flower in her hair. She's got a beautiful dragonfly and more mandalas and lots of doodling. This was just doodling and adding lots of color. I love that. It turned out turned out good. It was fun. Um, the idea for it, I, I don't know that that's what she would really look like if you'd look her up, but I found the word Pax and looked up what it meant, and um, it's the Greek goddess of peace, so I just thought that was a, a good one to put in my book. Then there is my garden girl. She's got attitude. Someone told me she has attitude. She's got basil and thyme in her hair. Kind of a whimsical face. She's got pots of herbs. She's holding a hand trowel and her hand in her pocket. I love that. That was really fun. Just something different. I try to I try to go as different as I possibly can on them. And this is my all-time favorite one in the book. This is she's got mandala hair. And it has wild and crazy sayings about me. Um, it was just words and journaling to myself. I'm a dreamer. I can do it. I believe I can. I'm free. I'm strong. I'm a survivor. I'm an artist. I have faith. I keep trying. I stay positive. I smile in spite of it. I try my best. I am a duck. I love animals. I want success. I make art to soothe my heart. I am happy. I am very sensitive. I need to be loved. I am me. I am special. I am a Leo and I talk a lot. So those are all just things for and about me journaled into her hair. So I love how that turned out. Very different approach for me and I just, I really like it. That was really super fun. And then, then there's this one that I did for Tamara Lepore, who was having a rough week, and uh, for my mom and another friend who's going some, through some hard times. Um, and I put the words around her are, life is full of twists and turns. Just stay strong and ride the waves. And so her hair is twisted. And she has a beach scene and waves, waves in her blouse and a beach scene on her skin. And so that's just really fun and unique. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through of my art journal. I'd just like to share and show you some of the neat things that I've done. Like I said, it took a year. And when I finish another one, I will do another flip through. So 
Thanks for stopping by and for watching my videos. I hope that you're art journaling and that it's bringing you a lot of joy. And for me, art soothes the heart. So I do it as often as possible. So thanks for watching and have a blessed day.